For the past several days, commuters on the New York Metro North Railroad have been noticing these billboards. They show the evolution of Israeli and Palestinian land between 1946 and 2010 and the number of Palestinian refugees in the world. The group who put these posters up says it wants to educate people. But for many New Yorkers, the ads are shocking and misleading. It's a sight many New Yorkers are not used to. Politically motivated billboards displayed as commuters await their train. Four simple maps showing the Palestinian loss of land to Israel over a 64-year period and a single sentence referring to the number of refugees this has created. The reactions are mixed. It's not extremely common that we see such politicized ads um, here in New York. I'm not that familiar with it, but from what I've read and what I've been told, it, it seems to be a good representation of what I've been read, reading about has been going on. It does seem to be the trend that Israel has taken claimed more land in the West Bank than over time than they had back in 1946, to my understanding. I think it's unhelpful. I, I don't know what this organization is, but I think it's oversimplistic. The group is composed of a dozen activists headed by former Wall Street executive Henry Clifford, who paid $25,000 to have these billboards displayed for a month in 50 train stations. The Palestinians are having their land taken from them, expropriated for the purposes of building uh, settlements, roads, walls, and fences, uh, all of which have been declared illegal under international law, uh, under the Geneva Conventions, rulings of the International Court of Justice, and condemned in countless resolutions in the UN. All of this is wrong, and all of it is causing terrible suffering for the Palestinian people. But several pro-Israel groups are infuriated. They believe these ads are shocking and historically inaccurate. The purpose is clearly uh, to demonize and delegitimize the Jewish state of Israel with propaganda lies to try and reduce support for Israel, reduce sympathy for Israel based on these lies. So its purpose is ultimately to one day eliminate Israel as a Jewish state. There is no other purpose. The Zionist Organization of America, along with several other organizations, has written to the Metropolitan Transportation Authority, asking for the ads to be removed. We've written to the MTA and we've asked them uh, to reconsider allowing these signs there because these signs are absolutely uh, false and they promote a false image that uh, Israel uh, had anything to do with this refugee, uh, so-called refugee problem, when it's the six Arab nations who invaded Israel that caused the refugee problem. And, and they're not, that's not being said. The MTA has not yet responded to the Zionist Organization of America's complaint, but a spokesman for the transit agency told reporters that the billboards do not violate neutral advertising standards. The ads are likely to remain. Free speech for some, propaganda for others, the debate surrounding the billboards is far from over. One thing's for sure, any political advertisement in a public area is likely to cause controversy especially when it focuses on the complicated and polarized issue like the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Brian Carter for JN1 in New York.